So in the first reading, we are seeing some uh, good conflict management, um, wonderful method of conflict management when you're receiving two different stories, take the people that are giving the two different stories and plop them down next to each other and let the truth come out. Uh, that's kind of what I do when Frank and Tony get in fights. Uh, I just lock them in a room uh, and let them duke it out. Um, not Claire, though, because Claire's the princess. She gets, you know, taken away from the other cats when they're being mean. Um, but here in the Acts of the Apostles, uh, it says the commander takes Paul before all the chief priests, the whole Sanhedrin. You've got the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And, of course, Paul uh, used to be a Pharisee. He was born to a Pharisee, and so he plays to that. Um, and he comes in and he says, hey, I'm just trying to witness to the resurrection, right? And the Pharisees, well, yeah, okay, we believe in the resurrection. But the Sadducees, they just completely uh, deny that there's any resurrection, that there's any uh, angels, spirits, afterlife, that nope, it's just here on earth and then you're done. Um, and so Paul starts to play to the Pharisees, and that, of course, causes this conflict between them, um, and they struggle to find the truth because, well, they don't have the truth because they don't know Jesus Christ um, so the full truth can't come out. The commander goes and sends uh, his soldiers to rescue Paul, who then later encounters Jesus, right? And Jesus is talking to him about the truth, because Jesus himself is the truth. And he says, you're going to have to bear witness again in Rome. You're going to have to keep doing this, which maybe can be difficult, because sometimes people, when they're maybe challenged or tested in their faith, you make it through one episode, and okay, that's it, I'm, I'm done, I don't want to do that again. But Christ is telling Paul, he's telling his apostle, you're going to continue to be tested, you're going to continue to be challenged, and you're going to have to continue to speak the truth. You're going to have to continue to uh, proclaim my name. But then Jesus' prayer in the Gospel of John uh, is that we may all be part of him. Where he may be, we may also, Right? He's referring to heaven. Jesus is the one who ascends to heaven, and to be in heaven, we have to be part of the body of Christ. We have to be united to him. He desires for that unification so that he may be united to his Father in heaven. And so as we seek that truth, as we proclaim the truth that is Jesus Christ, and as sometimes it is unpopular, we recognize that we are united to the body of Christ so that we may be united to the Father in heaven. And so let us continue to pray that we may uh, have the courage and the strength to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ in all that we do, all that we say, that we may recognize that we are not of this world, but we are of, uh, we are of God, and that he desires for us to be united to him. As we continue to prepare for the Feast of Pentecost, let us ask that the Holy Spirit would be showered upon us so that we can continue to grow in holiness, we can continue to uh, grow in our imitation of Christ.